Reports have been flooding in regarding acts of nepotism and favoritism during the recruitment processes of state institutions amid claims that the ruling Justice and Development Party, AK Party, is appointing its supporters to public offices to ensure that the party's brand of Islamist political ideology is dominant within the government bureaucracy. Nepotism, the unfair practice by a powerful person of giving jobs and other favors to relatives according to the Merriam-Webster online dictionary, is not a far-fetched phenomenon in Turkey. Governments with outright majorities, or even coalition governments, have always been accused by their critics of recruiting applicants close to their ideology to state institutions in a bid to ensure their party's beliefs live on within the government bureaucracy. In stark contrast to Prime Minister Ahmet Davutoglu's rhetoric in September denouncing nepotism and corruption, the frequency of reports claiming that AK party ministers, deputies and bureaucrats close to the administration have engaged in acts of nepotism, abusing their political power to benefit friends, family and groups possessing the same political Islamist ideology, have increased. I will not forgive those engaging in nepotism, said Davut Alua during a meeting with provincial governors in September. In a bid to curb nepotism and favoritism in Turkey, in 2002 current Democratic Left Party, DSP, leader, Mesem Turker, then a state minister within the coalition government headed by late former Prime Minister Bülent Esevit, was a strong proponent of the introduction of the State Personnel Examination, KPSS, a centralized and standardized exam used to evaluate candidates for employment at state agencies. Now claims are emerging that the AK party is aiming to discredit the legitimacy and security of the KPSS exam with a flurry of police operations while at the same time undermining the oral exam process, which comes after the written KPSS exam. Of the 20 million people who took the KPSS exam during the AK party's tenure, a mere 610,000, or 1.5%, have been given positions in state institutions highlighting the coveted nature of government positions. On Monday a total of 61 people were detained as part of a case involving allegations of cheating in the 2010 KPSS exam. The KPSS investigation, initially opened in 2010 after more than 3,227 people answered most or all of the questions on the KPSS correctly leading to claims that some of the candidates had either cheated during the test or obtained the questions beforehand has now been revived after five years amid complaints by opposition members that the government is using the operations as a springboard to further its own agenda. AK party trying to abolish KPSS, says DSP leader Turker. Turker, who is known as the person who introduced the KPSS, spoke to Turkish media recently, stressing that the AK party's real aim is to abolish the KPSS exam and thus grant employment to supporters of the AK party who were unable to enter state agencies. There the AK party trying to abolish the KPSS exam over the incident which happened in 2010. These are all excuses, the aim is to abolish the KPSS exam and fill all state positions. They're going to use the current KPSS operation as a pretext to abolish the exam said Turker on a TV program on the Semanyalu News Channel. We introduced the KPSS exam so that people would not be recruited by way of their influential contacts. They have partly bypassed the aim of the KPSS exam by introducing the oral exams, but they want to bypass it the KPSS further. Then this KPSS exam must disappear, he said. CHP deputy, AK Party is saying, we want our people in civil service. Republican People's Party, CHP, Parliamentary Group Deputy Chairman Akif Hamzaisby said during a press conference recently that the investigation into allegations of cheating in the 2010 KPSS exam is an expression of the government's desire to remove the KPSS exam. Speaking of the AK Party's wish to employ people who embrace the party's ideology within the civil service, Hamzaisby said, the AKP AK party doesn't want an objective exam. They're saying, we want our people to be employed in civil service. They want an AKPSS exam and they're going to conduct these exams in their AK party headquarters. Recruitment of 3,000 court staff three months before elections sparks claims of favoritism. The government has recruited 1,703 new court clerks and bailiffs over the last month 
and promises to employ a further 1,218 by the end of April, reportedly in a bid to place partisans of the AK party in Ministry of Justice positions. The recruitments were based on independent interviews conducted by the Ministry of Justice instead of the KPSS, which is deemed to be the most unbiased method of recruiting new staff to state agencies, spurring claims of nepotism and favoritism with less than three months to go until the general election. A total of 784 people were recruited in Stanbul, many others were placed into civil service in cities such as Konya, Bursa, Mersin, Diyarbakir, Antalya, and Gaziantep. Full points were awarded to certain applicants in the first wave of recruitment between March 9 and 11, in which 99 out 216 applicants received 100 points on the oral exam conducted by the Ministry of Justice, even though many of them had received relatively low scores on the KPSS. However, the revelations of favoritism led to a change in the recruitment process in which oral exam points were lowered inconspicuously and those employee hopefuls close to the administration received scores close to 100. However, some applicants who received a high score on the KPSS were eliminated in the recruitment process due to receiving disproportionately low scores on the oral exam. Favoritism towards relatives of AK party officials in university acceptances Favoritism towards relatives of government officials was also revealed in academia when Stanbul University's Open and Distance Education Faculty, OZEF, was reported to have accepted relatives of government officials despite many of them lacking the necessary qualifications to enroll. Turkish media reported recently that about over 500 students most of them relatives of AK party officials were accepted to OZEF without having obtained a four-year bachelor's degree and without having taken the compulsory transition to higher education examination, YGS, an undergraduate placement examination, LIS. Only graduates who have a four-year bachelor's degree can apply to OZEF to obtain a second undergraduate degree in another field without having to take the YGS and the LIS. All high school graduates have to pass both these examinations to be admitted to universities in Turkey. Nepotism in civil service appointments spreads to Turkish airlines. Nepotism was also reported to have spread to Turkish airlines, thai, with relatives, friends and children of ministers, deputies and bureaucrats being appointed to high-ranking positions within the partially state-owned flag carrier. CHP Deputy Chairman Haluk KOC released the first of three lists during a press conference at the CHP's headquarters in December that mention 85 public sector employees who were hired based on their connections with AK party ministers and deputies rather than on their KPSS scores. Berka Guller, the daughter of former Interior Minister Muammar Guller who resigned after a major corruption probe went public on December 17. 2013 has been working in this advisory law department since 2009. In addition, Kanan Kanakli, the daughter-in-law of Borders and Trade Minister Nureddin Kanakli, is currently working as a thai inspector. It is also alleged that the head of flight training at thai, Sadat Sekersi, is the nephew of former President Abdullah Gul. One of the most controversial names working for thai is high school graduate Umit Serkan the nephew of President Recep Tayyip Erdogan. Serkin works as a civil servant in the second region London Marketing and Sales Department. Murat Gur, the nephew of Mehmet Gur the head of the company that built Erdogan's villas in Stanbul Eskadar district is working at the Dusseldorf branch. Another prominent claim is that preferential treatment is given to friends of President Erdogan's son Bilal from the Imam Haytype High School in Stanbul Eskardal district. Brahim Aaron a friend of Bilal Erdogan, was appointed to the board of Turk Telecom, Turkey's largest telecommunications company. At the time Brahim Aaron was allegedly working as vice president of the Turkish Radio and Television Corporation, TRT, and the head of pro-government news outlet ATV's Europe Studio, he carried on his duties as a prime ministry advisor. Minister Irolo engaging in nepotism, claims MHP deputy. Nationalist Movement Party MHP, Deputy Safedin Ilmaz has said Forestry and Waterworks Minister Vasil Irolu's seven years on the job has been the darkest and most complex era in the history of forestry, claiming the minister loves his relatives and associates more than he loves the forests. According to a report in the Tariff Daily on Thursday, Ilmaz said that the government had come to an agreement with the Turkey Labour Institution, KUR, 
before the elections to provide 130,000 jobs, underlining that Irolo had placed his relatives into his own ministry and other government agencies. AK party ministers and deputies defend nepotism, citing Ataturk and the Koran. In January, Irolo told reporters that governments prior to the AK party had unfairly provided state jobs for considerably more people than the number of people the AK party is criticized for hiring. Irolo was responding to claims that he had employed a relative in his ministry without requiring the necessary KPSS mark. The second nepotism list, revealed by the CHP in January, claimed Irolo appointed his cousin, Mehmet Inbabeolu, to a job in his ministry. We are very sensitive about not making unfair appointments, Irolo said in response to the claim. Irolo's comments came after Labor and Social Security Minister Farouk Selik said in December that nepotism in the process of recruitment for government jobs is not a new trend that emerged with the rise of the AK party but rather one that has existed since the era of Turkey's founder, Mustafa Kemal Ataturk. Another AK party deputy, Mehmet Mediner, justified nepotism with verses from the Quran, saying that there are verses that order people to favor their relatives. Mustafa Alolu, the host of the program Alolu Il Bakaz, Point of View with Alolu, which airs on a station called Merkin TV that operates in Adiaman province, asked Mediner about claims that the relatives of AK party deputies and high-ranking government officials are appointed to public positions without having to take the KPSS. In response, Mediner said, We are religious people, aren't we? When we attend Friday prayers each week, the verse saying protect and favor your relatives is read during the Friday sermon. The verse that Mediner makes reference to is verse 90 of Surah An Nal, which states, Indeed, Allah orders justice and good conduct and giving to relatives and forbids immorality and bad conduct and oppression. He admonishes you that perhaps you will be reminded.